Welcome everyone to Introduction to Digital Video Concepts as part of our QSC Quantum Training and Advanced Service and Troubleshooting Curriculum. My name is Patrick Hine and I'll be giving you a brief introduction to some of our more advanced video topics as they relate to NV series video endpoints. If this is your first experience with QSIS Video, we highly recommend you start with our QSIS Video 101 online training. This should give you a good baseline on the NV series' functionality before we dive into the deep geek stuff. Speaking of which, let's get started with a discussion on video color, shall we? RGB, or red, green, and blue color model, is the most commonly used today because it most closely models the human eye, and it also best represents the actual pixel data on video display devices. The human eye contains rods that detects the light intensity and cones that perceive color. Each pixel contains a subpixel, usually an RGB element, which are controlled to display a desired color and light intensity. The RGB color model can be mathematically mapped and transformed into something called a color space. Color space defines the maximum and all allowable color on a given device. The complete subset of color within a color space is defined as its color gamut. Many of these standards you see on the left here define more than just the mapping function, color space, and model, as they also define the dynamic range, resolution, frame rate, bit depth, etc. Speaking of which, the color bit depth is the number of bits that define a single color of a pixel. The color precision portion of the video can be defined as bits per pixel or per color. With 8, 10, or 12-bit color, it's defined as bits per color, not pixel. The complete range is called full range color, and 16 to 235 is called limited range color. Typically, SIMT slash CE rates support a limited color range, and IT slash VISA rates support a full color range. Now, don't get color space confused with color encoding. Color encoding systems are defined as sets of rules that are used to encode RGB data into a more easy-to-use form that can be transmitted using less bandwidth. Using the YCBCR encoding system, the LUMA, or Y, is the brightness portion of the image, sometimes referred to as the black and white or monochromatic portion of the image. Chroma, or C, is the color portion of the image. Transforming an RGB signal into a LUMA and chrominance component has many useful properties. RGB signals carry redundant data, one reason being that the luminance is carried over all three RGB components. Transforming to YCBCR is performable via a mathematical transform, which is 100% recoverable when transforming back to RGB. Digital subsampling is frequently used when transmitting or saving digital data. The human visual system is much more sensitive to brightness than it is to color. When a video signal is separated into luma and chrominance components, the luma portion can be transmitted via high-resolution bandwidth. However, the chrominance portion can be subsampled to reduce bandwidth requirements. This image shows the chroma was significantly compressed, but the luma remains uncompressed. The subsampling process is expressed by a 3 or a 4, 4 parts if the alpha channel is included. These subsampling ratios are used to create a conceptual bitmap, j pixels wide and 2 pixels high. Ratios use arbitrary variables j, a, b, which are j equals the sample space of the conceptual bitmap, a equals the number of unique samples in the first row, and b is the number of unique samples in between the first and second row. The resultant bitmap is not an actual representation of how many pixels are displayed on the device. Instead, this just gives us the representation of how many color samples are transmitted per pixel and can be used to calculate the amount of bandwidth reduction. For example, 444 means 4 samples, 4 unique samples in the first row, and 4 unique samples between the first and second row. 422 means you still got four samples, two unique samples in the first row, and two unique samples between the first and the second row. But this does provide a bandwidth reduction by one-third. Here are the supported color formats, RGB, which is always 444, and YCBCR, 444, and 422. 
And that's pretty much the baseline vocabulary on color. Let's take a quick break now and dive into some more ancillary video data when we get back.